Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Ruben. So uh, today we will do some uh, enhancement that we learn from our tutorial 20. So in, in, in last tutorial, we saw that the get customer, right? So we are retrieving the ID from test case number two. So instead, we can, we will, we will get the ID after we create a customer and we can assign this ID globally here on our, under test case number one. So this way, all the test I, uh, test case can access this ID from the credit customer. So we can get rid of this line from um, each of this method. Okay, so now let's do it. So before I do that, I'm going to block um, the comments this out because we need to first work, um, work only the creative method first. If that is working, so this will uh, working as uh, well, okay? So the, before I do any changes, so make sure like I'm able to create a customer or not. So 315 has been created, okay? So now the first I'm going to do, so you see uh, this is the ID uh, has been uh, created here, right? So we are going to, uh, we are going to capture this ID. So what I can do, I can remove this print statement from here. Instead, I can say customer ID. And I'm going to declare a variable. Let's come to this customer ID. And also, I don't need, I am not going to use this, um, uh, the variable that I, I used last time. Okay, so the customer ID, order JSON is equal to ID. So still, I will get the ID. So now I am going to get rid of this line also. So now let's print out this customer ID. I'm going, uh, we know like it will print the customer ID, but we need to see like what type um, it is, right? So the print type and uh, customer ID. And this customer ID, let's print out. Let's run the code again. So it prints integer. And we know like uh, when we pass the in point, we need to, we need a string, right? So uh, since it's, it is an integer, we can simply just convert this onto a string. Okay, so I can say, I will use the similar name. Um, instead of list to string, I say integer, uh, what I can say, customer ID, you know what, let's, Let's print only the customer ID. Customer ID, customer ID. I can either here, if I say string. So how you can convert from integer to string? You can simply just put a string, str. So we know this, uh, this return integer in order for to uh, convert this integer to the string, we just simply put the str at the front. Now, if I run again, you see, is a string. So now we, you see like last time uh, we, we, uh, we retrieved the ID from the guest customer and that guest customer, it, it was returning the, um, the list, I guess. So that's why you have to put in the list but we need to find out whatever, uh, wherever we retrieve any data, we need to see like what type is it. So based on the type, we have to do the conversion. Converse, uh, conversion. So in our uh, in point or URL, it's required a string. So that's why we converting from integer to string. So now you see um, customer ID. So this customer ID is inside this test case number one. So I cannot access this customer ID here. So let me, before I do anything, just uh, uncomment test case number two and uh, list to string. I don't need this one anymore, this line. Okay, 
And here, instead of list string, I say this customer ID. You see, it's complaining. It's not finding this variable. Either I can say uh, customer ID here or is equal to like this, right? So I can do this or I can put it here. But instead, we need this customer ID should coming from because we are writing the ID from the uh, uh, test case number one, right? So we need to use this customer ID should be here. So in order for to use this customer ID, we have to make him global variable. So only one thing I can do is subtype global and this. That's it. You see, the error is gone. So now if I uh, let me see if everything is correct. Yeah, so let's run. It should work, no issue. You see, test case number two also is successful. So that's it. So now we are going to just replace. Um, uh, first of all, we are going to get rid of the line. Um, this line here. We need. We don't need this line. Yeah. So now list to string. Instead of uh, list string, we have to paste the customer ID. And uh, we're going to uh, get rid of this line. Customer ID. So I think I, okay, we don't need this line as well. Customer ID. Yeah, so I think we're done. So you see, like there is just so many ways we can enhance our code. So, but this was like one of the enhancements that I need to bring up. Um, so I think we are good to go. So let me just do a little bit of um, intent. Okay, so so we get rid of one of the code and we, we declare the variable. Um, um in uh, for the first test case uh, test case our number id uh, test case number one and we are using the id to all the uh, all uh, all the um all the test cases so now if i run again it should pass see no issue so 330 uh, 339 was created and uh, at the end, this case number five, customer should not exist. And we are um, doing the assertion, right? If the customer is exist, it should uh, have um, throw an error to, I mean, uh, uh, success message should be 200, but it's throw in 404, right? So we are um, comparing that assertion, uh, with the using assertion. So that is it for this tutorial so now the next uh, from next video we will learn how we can um, uh, use the pytest uh, uh, marker uh, okay thank you